So today we're doing session six of New Agent Training, Marketing Yourself Using Command. So the first thing we're going to do is log in to agent.kw.com with your MyKW login credentials. And then before we get into any of uh, designing your marketing or creating that, we have to make sure that all of your marketing details are correct. So in the top right hand corner where you see your name, you're going to click on that drop down and select settings. Then over to the left, you're going to select Connect Settings, and you're going to click on Marketing Profile. And what you're going to do here is just make sure everything is updated. The reason for that is anything updated here filters through to your IDX website. It filters to your consumer app. It filters to all the marketing that we're going to get into. It filters to everything. So if you get a new headshot, you don't change it in five different places. You change it right here. Okay, so your headshot will go in here, your team logo. If you're an individual agent, you can create your own logo or you can just use our Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan logo. And then you're going to want to start filling this information in or at least checking to make sure everything is right in here. At the top, you're going to want to make sure that it says use my information to brand my agent site. Make sure that this is on. The reason that you want to make sure it's on is because, again, it will filter to the website, to the, to the marketing, um, and to the consumer app. So just make sure that this is on. Now we can get into the design features. So over to the left, you're going to go down to the designs applet. And we're going to start creating templates in here. You will not have the templates that you see on here. These are templates that I have already created. So you're going to add your own. So add new. We're going to focus on social media today and print marketing. So let's do print first. Next. So over to the left are the different types of templates that you can create. And then over to the right are the actual templates that you will choose. Um, I want to get down into business basics first. And there's business cards. So during orientation, uh, we did talk about ordering business cards. As you can see, these are very colorized. If you want something a little different, you're going to want to use a third-party company. If you need quick business cards printed out, you can create them here. If you like the look of them, you can create them here. If you're going to be sending out a letter to your entire sphere of influence, maybe you're going to market to your, um, to your neighborhood, um, there's a letterhead on here that you can use, and you'll just type in here stating that you just got licensed and you are the neighborhood expert and you want to help them with all of their real estate needs. Something else that you can do if you don't want to start with that blank canvas, if you go into lead generation and then select the I Love KW tab, there are flyers that talk about making a move to the company. So I'm going to select this one. Any of the templates that you select, you'll just hit use in the top right of the template. And then you'll get the template here. So this is where you're actually designing the template to use going forward. Now this talks about joining a new company. It says new company, same exceptional service. If you're not joining, an, if you're not joining Keller Williams Greater Metropolitan from another brokerage, then just take this off if you want to. Um, you can say new opportunities. You can say um, uh, new industry. You can decide whatever you want this to say, but this just gives you a template to use rather than starting with a blank letterhead. So you can change all of this information. You'll change this. You'll edit your picture up here if you want to. And all the information from the marketing profile has already come over here. So over to the left is your library. If you selected a headshot and put one in there, the headshot's going to come in here. You can just pull it into here. Don't look at my headshot. <laughs> Um, same with down here, your first name, your last name. You can edit all of this. And then once you're done and editing, you will um, you can change what this looks like. So um, this can just be a welcome letter. You're going to go over here, file, save. And you're going to hit download, right? So this will download it for you. Now, if you're downloading something print marketing, you'll always want to download as a PDF, okay? So you'll hit start download. It will download to your computer and then you hit done. Now if you decide in two weeks or a month that you want to change the way that looks, again, it's right here in your templates. You're just going to go into here. Um, oops, sorry, you're not going to do that. And you're going to click on it and it will bring you into the page so that you can edit it again. Everything on here is editable all the time, okay? Again, the logo. If you go into your logos, if you put the logo in here, you just replace the logo and the logo will come in for you. So everything is editable on here. So I'm going to hit done. Yes, I want to save my changes. 
So we're going to create a new template again, and again, we're going to start with print marketing. And I'm going to show you guys how to find your listing presentation and your buyer presentation. So if you go under listings over to the left, you're going to select listing presentations. And as you can see, there's a ton of other stuff under here. So get in here, play around a little bit. You have two different listing presentations you can use. Now we have classes on this, so I'm not going to dive into this, but you'll select which one you want to use. You'll put all your information into it and then you'll save it as a template. And then for every listing presentation you have, you'll go in here and just change out the client's name, the client's address, but your photo will stay, all your information will stay once you've created that template the first time. Same goes with the buyer presentation. So under buyer, there's two different buyer presentations you can use. Look at both of them, see which look that you like, but just stick to one because then you're not editing both of them to have two different templates. Choose one, update it one time, and then every time you go on a buyer presentation, you'll go in here and put the client's name in there. Um, you'll put their, their family information in there, anything that you're using, okay? So now I'm going to get out of here and I'm gonna show you some social media. So again, we're going to add new. Social media, next. Okay, again with the templates, all of the, uh, the topics are to the left and then to the right are the templates you can use. So we can go down to business basics. You guys can make an email signature. Now you can also just put an email signature into your email if you want to, but if you wanna get a little fancy with it, you can create email signatures and put them into your email. There's also social branding under here. You can drop something into a Twitter cover, a Facebook cover if you want to. Make sure you're looking at the different types up here because they are uh, formatted a little differently. Uh, if you go into lead generation and go to I Love KW again, again, there's a ton of stuff under here. If you want your branding to match uh, your print marketing, there's ones that say I'm making a move. You can do Instagram. I personally like the square look. I use the square look on Facebook as well. Um, so you can post something every single day on social media if you want to. Now the last thing in here I want to show you is your smart plan. So this is another way that you can brand yourself and market yourself using uh, commands. So if you go into smart plans and you go into your library, you're going to see a ton of different smart plans. And we talked about these a little bit at orientation, um, and we do have classes on these, but these are other ways that you can market to your, um, to your entire database. Uh, once you have contacts in your database, you are going to add them to different smart plans. At the very least, everybody should be on a quarterly call plan. Over here, you can see the steps. Um, it, will it will tell you and put it into your task to call um, Joe Smith and then it will delay 90 days, and then it will put it in your task to call Joe Smith. So you should be reaching out to them every 90 days. It's a quarterly call plan. There's also a birthday smart plan. There's a home anniversary smart plan. Um, there's a promote my app smart plan. So very different ways to market yourself using command that are at the tip of your fingers, all right here for you to use. And that is session six. There will be no quiz to go along with this one. Um, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and get in command, play around with it. It is your database. It is your CRM. It is your system. Uh, so get in here and make a mess of it a little bit and let me know if you need anything at all. Talk to you soon.